All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I'm gonna make a video about two bodybuilders today. So the bodybuilders in this video are gonna be Ralph Moeller and Steve Brisbois. Um, so the interesting dichotomy between these two bodybuilders is that Ralph Moeller was very tall and Steve Brisbois was really small. As a competitive bodybuilder, Ralph Moeller was about six foot six inches tall or 1.97 meters, weighing approximately 288 pounds on stage or 131 kilos. And those measurements were taken at the 1988 Mr. Olympia, where he placed dead last. And then on the other hand, Steve Brisbois was only five foot three and a half inches tall or 1.61 meters. And he would also compete in the Mr. Olympia competition in 1988, also placing dead last. So they both competed in the Olympia and unfortunately they would both place dead last. But that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is going to be when they both competed in the Arnold Classic in the year 1990. So this is actually very interesting. So the 1990 Arnold Classic, that was the first and only year the Arnold Classic was ever drug tested. It was also only the second year that the Arnold Classic had ever been held. So the Arnold Classic's first year was in 1989 with the first winner um, being Rich Gaspari. So in 1990, the original winner was Sean Ray. Um, Sean Ray later failed the drug test and he was disqualified and Mike Ashley would end up winning the show by default. So the first interesting thing about the 1990 Arnold Classic is number one, this is where, in my opinion, some of the greatest photos in bodybuilding history have came out of, of Ralph Moeller standing next to Steve Brisbois. Just the incredible height difference, the incredible size difference. I think these are just some of the funniest, um, just interesting photos of bodybuilding history. So in 1990, the interesting thing here was that Steve Brisbois would pass the drug test and place within the top five at the Arnold Classic, placing fifth. And actually managing to beat some pretty decent bodybuilders, including Tony Pearson, Paul Jean Guillemy, um, Chris Dickerson, a former Mr. Olympia winner, and Albert Beckles placing ninth. So he actually beat some pretty good competitors. And that's one of the things I wanted to mention in this video is despite the fact that Steve Brisbois was so small and so short, I think he actually had a really impressive, really aesthetic physique for his size. He actually won the Amateur Mr. Universe 1990, 1991, and 1992. Um, he's also the Canadian national overall champion. And of course, a top five finish at the Arnold Classic is a pretty impressive feat for any bodybuilder, let alone a bodybuilder that's only five foot three inches tall. So another interesting thing about the 1990 Arnold Classic was that Ralph Moeller was one of the bodybuilders that failed the drug test and got disqualified. Um, so in addition to Sean Ray and Ralph Moeller, Nimrod King and Samir Banut, form, former Mr. Olympia, were both disqualified um, for failing the drug test in 1990. So Ralph Moeller is currently 59 years old and he would go on to become an actor and actually a very good friend of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Steve Brisbois is currently 57 years old and he claims he is currently drug free um, ever since seeing the death of Momo Beneziza. He says that is the moment he decided he would never jeopardize his own life for bodybuilding again and that he would never step on a professional bodybuilding stage again after 1992. So I guess he actually does maintain that he was natural, I guess going all the way back to the 1990 Arnold Classic since he passed that drug test. But 1992 was really his wake up call, um, being apparently a close friend of Momo Beneziza and watching him die um, really shook him. And for that reason, he stopped his competitive bodybuilding career. But he is also still alive today at the age of 57 years old. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I thought it might be interesting to kind of put an explanation to some of these photos. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen some of these photos, but maybe didn't know a whole lot about Ralph Moeller or certainly didn't know a whole lot about Steve Brisbois. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.